Vin, let me just share with you a little bit of what God's been speaking to me since the beginning of the year as it relates to Desert Breeze and what I believe that God wants for us here in 2022. He wants us to come in with, a, with, a, with an expectancy, to come in expecting to encounter him, to know him, to, to grow in our relationship with him, to, for him to, to heal us and love on us and transform our lives. By the way, that's faith. There's a tendency, you know, we've been through a lot of crazy stuff over the last couple of years. And, and what happens is that you kind of just, you're just lucky you're surviving and it's business as usual and it becomes kind of a cavalier, casual kind of Christianity. And, and so we're not really exercising the faith that God has given us. Faith is being sure of what we hope for, certain of what we don't see. The word hope is confident, joyful expectation that when we get together, corporately, when we get together in our small groups, when we, when we get together with God in our personal daily devotions, that we come with a level of faith, of expectancy, to encounter God, to hear from God, that he wants to speak to us. And as we interact with him, it, it transforms us. That, that Then you can begin to say that the feast of earth, its amusements and glories are... And glory seemed flat, stale, unprofitable in comparison to knowing him and experiencing him. You know, that's very biblical. That's very biblical, but I think that oftentimes we don't encounter him, we don't experience him like that, like Charles Spurgeon is defining here, is because we don't have that expectation. We don't have that deep desire within us, just if we had more desire, a desire to know him, to grow in our relationship with him. Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is being sure of what we hope for, certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.6, it says, whoever would come to God with, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Whoever would come to him must believe that he exists, and listen to me, and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Are you seeking him? Are you seeking him more than you seek anything else? Do you have deep desire for him? Tells us in James 4, 8, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. You're only as close to God as you want to be. Did you know that? You're as close to God as you want to be right now. And if you'll draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. Tells us in Jeremiah 20, uh, 29, 13, 29, 13. It says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I'll guarantee you, you seek him with all of your heart, you're going to encounter him. And you can echo the words of Charles Spurgeon here. I mean, it, it, there's something about knowing God that's better than anything in life, experiencing him. Matthew 5, 6, it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. 